What's up YouTube, Stanley Merklin here, I live there for am, and today I want to talk about tricep anatomy. Now the triceps have three heads. There's the lateral head, the long head, and the medial head which runs underneath of the long head. Now the tricep originates at both the scapula and the humerus and inserts into the ulna. Now all three heads of the tricep have one function, and that function is elbow extension. But if you look specifically at the long head, this large meaty portion of the tricep on the back of your arm, this portion of the tricep has some specialized functions. These functions are shoulder adduction and shoulder extension. So, now that we know the functions of the triceps, how can we go about training the triceps in an effective way to develop all three heads? On top of my list for tricep development is the close grip bench press and the dip. Now obviously both of these movements involve other muscles, however, I do believe that these exercises are superior to tricep isolation movements for putting on sheer mass to your arms. Now a step down from those we have skull crusher and skull crusher variations. Now skull crushers, typically the way I like to do them is different from the way that most people do them and I'll get into that about why in a second. But Skull crushers are great exercises to bring up your triceps. Underneath that, we have pushdowns and all sorts of pushdown variations. Now, pushdowns are not a bad exercise. People like to shit on pushdowns all the time. Truthfully, in my opinion, I don't think you need to do pushdowns because they put more of an emphasis on the lateral and medial end. So, like I said before, I don't have, I've yet to see anyone with an underdeveloped lateral head. But if you do have a lateral head, pushdowns are a great way to bring that up. Now I want to talk about the long head. Now, the long head is interesting because it is what's called a two-jointed muscle. What this means is that the long head crosses two joints in the body. And so the long head crosses both the shoulder and the elbow. And like I said earlier, the triceps originate at both the scapula and the humerus. And the head of the triceps that originates at the scapula is the long head. So the only way to fully stretch the long head of the triceps is in an overhead extended position. So when a portion of the muscle is pressed in a stretched position, this portion of the muscle will take the greatest amount of load during the exercise. So the best way to develop the long head of the triceps brachii is through overhead extensions of some sort. So this involves French presses, and going back to skull pressures, there's a way that you can do skull pressures to incorporate more of your long head. So instead of just doing skull pressures where you extend to your face and go up like this, or rather you go down to your face and extend upwards, if you roll your shoulders back, you can extend your humerus over your head, and this will get a nice stretch onto the long head of the triceps. This is the way that I prefer to do skull crushers and will always do it for the rest of my life. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.